Hi, I'm Javis Lewis and in this video I'm going to show you a little problem that I'm having with Dash Studio 4.9.4.117 and how to fix it, of course. So it's about this little viewport occlusion here. At the top right you can see that my viewport controls are partially occluded. Now if I close any of the panes on the left or the right by just clicking on any of these tabs here, then they will collapse and the viewport controls come back. So that can happen on the left or the right. As soon as I shrink one of them down, I've got this showing in, in all its glory again. But I shouldn't have to do that because I do remember a time where that was perfectly fine and, and it was showing despite the width I had set for both the left and the right hand pane. So the other thing I can do is hover over any of these two panes here and as soon as that line is showing, I can just make him a bit smaller until my viewport controls come back. But again, I shouldn't have to do that because it was working at one point. And I was wondering how this happened and what I can do to prevent it. It turns out there's a very nice tip from none other than Richard Hazeltein on the DAS forums, of course. And he says this is a bug related to the shader mixer tab. So if you have the shader mixer tab open, not even showing, but if it's docked somewhere, then the easiest way to get rid of this problem is to right click it and close that shader mixer pane. And that will make these controls come back in all their glory. And then of course, once you've done it, you can save your workspace again. There are other ways to deal with this. You can try to reset the workspace and see if that helps. But that means you're going to have to put the icons and the palettes in the right places that you're kind of used to and maybe cumbersome. But just in case you want to go down that route, you can do that as well. That's under Window, Workspace, Select Layout. And here you can, I've got my own layout here, J2017, but uh, these are the built-in layouts. So you can have the um, self-serve and then you can hit preview and see what it looks like. So mine, I believe, was based on the City Limits light layout. And if we preview that, it's almost like mine, except for some other palettes that I had put in there and some, some of them that I've taken out. Uh, ooh, free DAS cache. I must have a look at that in a minute. That sounds exciting and promising. Uh, or there's also the um, city limits, of course. Yeah, that wasn't it. Wasn't that? I think that was a bit much for me. But I think city limits light was what I based my layout on. And then if I hit accept, then that layout will come back. Now, before you do that, I strongly recommend that you save your own existing workspace. And let me just bring mine back so that uh, we can we can see what happens here. Yes, so it still has that, that occlusion in there, and that's because my layout as, is saved with the shader mixer tab showing. So I guess I'm gonna just get rid of that in the future and over save it. And if I were to do that, so yeah, close that down, and I would save this layout before I do anything else by again, going over to Window, Workspace, Save Layout As. And then you can give it a name up here. And then save it. And this is now accessible in the same space that I've just shown you. So window, workspace, select layout. And then we have Jay's magic layout. Just in case you're running into the same problems with your layout with occluded viewport controls, then this is how, this is one way to fix it. So thank you, Richard, for bringing that to our attention. If you like this, share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Quick tip from me, I will see you next time.